This is Terrence Gangsta Williams. AKA OG Giggity. AKA Mr. Answer Right Back. AKA the People Champ. AKA Terrence Civilian Williams. 1090 J. Pull up. 1090, baby, check this out. Let me make this clear to everybody. I don't care how 1090 make his money. That's between him. I mean, that's on him and his fan base, whatever. What I do respect, someone that been in prison, came home, doing something positive to make some legal money. That's what I respect. It's enough of that now. 1090 Jake, you a rat. You a snitch. You part of the team. Because at the end of the day, you was gang banging. You was gang banging 1090 Jake. Now, they forgave you when you gave the statement when you was a little youngster, or whatever, with the rock busting the window and you did all that police report. They forgave you for that. But 1098, we I don't want to hear, because I've been in prison 23 years, 10 months. I don't want to hear how you got to write it. No, buddy. Nah, you, a gang, you was on gang time, bro. Ain't no write no statement. Ain't no trying to get up for nothing. Nothing. You on gang time. The Zoes and the Bloods had a little walk going on or whatever. This is duty snitched on, y'all. So... They say he was sitting on the bed, and the dude come, how many, how many lumps you, how many, bop, bop, how many lumps you want? He called him, right? One of them Zoe called him, one of them Haitians, whatever. He called him. Now they say 1090 lies, say he tried to get whatever, but the facts still remain, 1090 Jake, you wrote that statement. I, I ain't no, I'll try to get there, we're gonna ship. At the end of the day, when you're on game time, all that come with being on gang time. You know, good and well, that was a violation. Because one thing we know for a fact, had anybody with a name in the rap industry wrote a statement and did that, you would have been on your podcast, on your show, and I'm out. Yeah, this guy here, he told, and he came to, did this, and he wrote to the people, and yeah, guy, it is what it is. And this was, that's how you'd have been. Yeah, that's right. But now you, you try to, oh no, I had to, man, knock it off. Take your chalk, take your lick. Cause you a rat, but you a rich rat. That's all, that, that, that right now, the, the rat's winning. The rat, the, 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 listen, they ran the race, the race. <laughs> oh, that's what I gotta start doing. Y'all gotta start jogging. I gotta start. <laughs> hey, yo, listen though, for real, yo. For real, yo, listen. Listen, y'all, cause it's like almost four o'clock in the morning, man. and. Man, this come across my desk. They burning my uh, Instagram up. Yo, look at this. Here. 10 out of Jake. 10 out of Jake. He read it. He gave a statement. OG, what you think about this? Now, what I think about it? Nah, he read it. Oh, no, he a snitch. He a rat. He a snitch. He a rat. But a lot of people, <laughs> they happy because they like, well, you know, man, he exposed a lot of black rap, a lot of black people, blah, blah, blah. So I explain to people, listen. The black people, rappers, are the ones that is running the hip hop, running social media, and he found a way to capitalize off. It. Now, I do, I do believe this: that if it was a black man putting out black rappers' paperwork, reading that, a lot of people wouldn't be engaged in that. But because it's a white man doing it. A lot of people engage, then people want to get mad. Oh, why he? Nah, we don't care about that part. That's how you're making this living. You're making an honest, legal living. I'm worried and concerned that he just sit up there and just air out everybody dirty laundry and he ain't been to the laundromat itself. This wouldn't get dangerous. 
He haven't been to the laundromat himself, y'all. That ain't cool. Mm -mm -mm. Man, this stuff here, yo, nothing don't surprise me and nothing to surprise you guys with this internet. You know what? Cause, <laughs> yo, it's been stuck. <laughs> it's been stuck over it, oh God, all, all, all. This was the, this, this was the, this. They make the rules, they break the rules. You got real gangsters, steppers, that still claim to be active, that still claim to be street on the internet, dry snitching, straight out snitching, throwing a rock hiding in hand snitching, just doing a whole bunch of snitching. And it's cool these days. Cause ain't nobody getting no dirt nap, nobody getting no lumps inside the head. Only thing they getting a little criticism here and there, but they keep it pushing, keep it moving. And they just, all right, we don't worry about that. Let's find somebody else, let's move on. Cause there's billions of people in the world, so that figure they say, you know what? We're gonna find somebody else. It ain't hard these days. You know what's crazy though? I remember, man, a dude telling me in USP McQuarrie, he said, man, everybody wear a mask. And I kept trying to find a way to discredit him for that. Then I finally realized it. Everybody wear a mask. Because you're not gonna know everything that person ever did. And that go even with the people that's around you. That go for even the people that's around you. Whether it be one of your homeboys, whether it be your girlfriend, your wife, your lady, they everybody wear a mask. You will never know what everybody did. You Man, you got some people that be having some hidden ancient China secrets. And they be like, they just so good at two shoe. They ain't never did nothing wrong. You know, we point the finger at you, and then they play the victim. All the while, they got their mask on. But boy, how what they how y'all know that old that old adage? When it rain, it pours. <laughs> old ten ninety Jake, boy, they got you this time, boy. You know, you know, you know, you know, you you know when it's you know you know when it's bad ten ninety. When people like say cheese, academics, when they post it. Cause then when they got millions of views and followers, I mean, so when they post it, people there. So they check it and then they just spread it. Spread it, man, bro. But they just spreading that stuff like wildfire, 1090. But um, I appreciate the content, you know. For real, for real. I looked into it, I listened to it, but at first I was like, I don't care about that. I'm just going to do me a video. But I said, now let me let me hear both sides, let me hear what they got to say. And when they show me the paper, they show me the dude. I got the stuff sent to me. I said, oh yeah, 1090. Come on here, boy, pull up. You down bad. You down bad. And then you try to justify that goofy stuff, bro. It is what it is, keep it pushing, bro. You got the fan base, now people ain't gonna, something like it, you might lose a few, a little handful, but you already there. You knocking on that million dough, boy. Made man march, boy, you knocking on that million dough. But anyway, man, y'all do my motto. Let's say no to drugs, let's stop the violence, put the guns down. Say no to drugs. Please do, man. A lot of people, Going crazy off that finny, losing their lives. Man, make sure y'all get tested for HIV and AIDS too. Y'all need to know y'all stat. That's very important. Go get tested. Just go get tested. Be on the lookout for they need us. I got the Instagram. They need us third one. Make sure y'all go. Uh, what you call it? Go subscribe to that. Oh, uh, yeah, subscribe. Follow that. Go follow that. They need us third ward on the Instagram. I'm about to start posting a lot of stuff on there. All oh, wrong. Hey. <laughs> man, that's enough, man. I'm out, yo. Man, I'm having a good one, man. I love y'all, though. Thank y'all for all the love support.